problem with the media, of course, the media is an undifferentiated mass, um, is the fact that uh, what we hear on tele what we see on television, what we hear on our radios, the kind of language, the kind of dialogue about blackness, or to what degree it occurs explicitly, a lot of this is implicit, a lot of this is, you know, suggested um, and implied. But the reality is that, you know, there hasn't been a great deal of change in the media itself because the media, you know, reflects the viewpoints and identities of the dominant culture. You had black um, shows that tried to talk about black life, but even then, uh, the range of experiences expressed, you know, weren't captured in their full color and their complexity. And so, you know, for every show we could name that was black themed, there were a hundred more uh, that were white themed and the like. And then the infinite complexity of white existence uh, as it was portrayed um, suggested that the relative paucity of vehicles to express a black identity um, uh, was real. And that doesn't mean we get into positive versus negative because that could be messed up. Some people who are homophobic believe to show a gay person kissing another gay person would be negative. Well, negative com compared to who? And negative in relationship to who? And then they say, well, this is where racial fundamentalism comes in too. Well, black people in Africa can do that. Really? Have you been there? Have you studied all of Africa? Do you know the complexities of Africa? So now you've got narrow conceptions of racial fundamentalism polluting the airways. Whereas these people want to talk about white people's stereotypes of blackness, they're reproducing pathologies of stereotypes themselves. They see it in their kids. Hey, Snoop Dogg and, and uh, rap music is horrible and terrible. And look, there's enough there to accuse all of them of perpetuating negative conceptions of black identity, but there's some more subtle ways even within our own control where we are perpetuating heterosexism, where we're perpetuating a narrow conception of the black family, where we're telling um, uh, only part of the story about who we are as a people. So we need more, not less media. We need more, not less talk. We need to expand our conception of what's legitimate and viable and powerful. And unfortunately, even in some of the media we control, we haven't done a good enough job to represent that complexity. So we have, to, we have to stop having a stereotypical understanding of what stereotypes prevail. We have, to, we have to push beyond that and have a broader idea about what's going on in our culture so that our, to, to understand just how our young people's minds are being polluted uh, or directed in a certain way and how the media itself is awash with some of the same negativities and some of the same limitations that we want to point to in the broader society.